So I'm wearing a red t-shirt today. What does that mean? It is Memorial Day. It is Memorial Day, but I'm gonna, we're going to draw something that's red in nature. What would that be? A fire truck. Yeah, a fire truck's not in nature, but it's red in nature. Um, so we're going to draw a fire truck. You ready to go? Yep. Okay, so... First need thing markers. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our red, uh, our black marker. You can use whatever you want. You can use a pencil. You can use a, a ballpoint pen. You can a use a crayon. You can use whatever you want. But we're going to start with our black marker. I can't even talk. Ready? Okay. First thing we're going to do is, for our fire truck, are the wheels. So let's do the wheels. Ready? Gonna start about right. Let's let's mark where we're gonna have the bottom of the wheel. About right there. This is gonna be the front wheel. That's not the wheel, that's just a mark. This is gonna be the top of the front wheel. So big. Just a dot. Just, these are marking the spots where we're gonna do our wheels. And then we're gonna do a sideways U or C up to that first point. If you don't hit it right on, don't worry about it. Well, you're going to have some long wheels. Now we're going to come down, do another one, a backwards C, to finish the wheel. Okay? Now, there, I think the fire truck has, when you look at it from the side, three wheels, or should we just do two? So I want to make a marker here, about the same distance. And maybe another one. Let's just do two. Let's do two wheels. We're going to do another mark to the top. We're going to make sure it's going to be the same height. So we're going to go straight across, kind of measure with our eye, make a dot there. Good. Now we're going to make a C. And another C. Uh oh, I have a flat tire, but it looks a bit. Okay, now we're going to do the line in between. Not all the way touching the wheel. Just going to go about like that. Don't touch the wheels. Try to leave a little space because we're going to make we're going to make something go over the wheels. So here's the first over the wheel. Trying to like match it up with that line. Yeah, trying to match it right along parallel with the other wheel. And the other side. Looking good. Now, let's put a, a, wheel, a circle inside our wheel to show where the, the like hubcap area is. So I'm going to put a dot right in the middle. And then Make a circle around that dot. Yes. And then make a circle around this dot. Okay. It looks like um, a wheel, but like a head with one eye in the middle. It, it does. We could turn that into a monster. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to do the um, little bumper like that. The top one goes halfway, there you go. And then I'm gonna make it go straight up. You know, I think I changed my mind, we'll make this the back. Yeah, it kinda looks like the back. It does look like the back. And then we'll do a little notch there. And then a notch up. And then bring it all the way over to about where the back of this tire, the back of this wheel is. Okay? Like that? Yep. Then we're going to bring a line straight down. Good. We're going to come a little ways down, make one go across like that. I think we should like put a light right there. We can do that. Let's let's get to where we get the whole truck finished here. And then we're gonna have another line come down from that. Go 
looks good. And over the top, about right to there. And then straight down. Good. And we're going to do a little notch out bumper like that. Good. And come straight back and meet the wheel. And if we're going too fast, you can always pause the video. That's right. You can pause the video if we're going way too fast because I kind of go fast. So next, we're going to do the front window. It's going to look like this. And then the next window behind it, it's a little smaller window. It, it almost yeah. looks like on mine, like someone kissing. Who's kissing who? A fire truck kissing an ambulance. Oh, okay. And then, let me see, what else do we need on a fire truck? Mm, a ladder. A ladder. Okay, so on the ladder, I'm going to go... I'm going to look at the end, and I'm going to come in a little bit. We're going to make a line that goes almost all the way across, but not all the way. Circle back. Make the left, the top side of the ladder, and then we're going to loop it right there. Good. Now the bottom one is going to be just wide enough for a ladder size. Awesome. And then how many steps are we going to make on the ladder? Uh, five. Well, I'm going to just start making them. One. Oops, I didn't mute You can make as many as you want. You can. You can make as many steps as you want. I'm just going to space them out. It's not going to be too many. This is going to be a short ladder and one that can just go to the first branch of a tree. To well, it can, it can extend. Oh, it can extend. Okay. So maybe the second branch of the tree, it can save a cat. You could okay. put like a city on there, like whatever city you live in. That's true. We could do what city? What city do we live in? Sierra Madre. Okay, so that's a long that's a long word. We can could write like it put all it up there? top like Sierra Madre. Okay. F D. Okay, so now we're gonna do a we could do a ladder that runs on the top, or we could just do leave it like this and make it an engine instead of a, a truck. Uh, right. You know the difference between an engine and a truck? Mm -hmm. What? Well, the trucks have the ladders on the top and the engines have them on the side. That's true. Okay, so. <gasps> we could put compartments. All right, let's do some compartments. Little doors. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put one up in the I back here. I should put a like, notch to open it. A little handle? Looks good. And then um, let's put. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put like an old style light on here. <laughs> the old style lights kind of look round. I'm gonna do mine like a fire truck right now. Like the square ones, like you see on yeah, most like, fire trucks today. Like rectangles. Almost. Okay. Like and then I'm gonna do like kind of an old style siren horn here. <laughs> like a bell on its side. So you could always looks like turn, a modern one. You could always turn your paper and like make a white Well, that's yield. true. That's true. I didn't think of that. If I turned my paper this way, it would have been a wide U or almost a V. And then for the, the hoses where they attach, I'm just going to put three little hose attachments. You can put as many as you want. As many as you want. And you said you wanted to put a light on the back here? Yeah, like right in that way. Go ahead. Let me see. I'll follow you. That, two lines, and then you go 
Almost like it's square. Okay. I'm going to do mine like kind of like the, the front siren, except this is a light. <laughs> is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right. And now we should color it in, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's color it in. So we're going to go in fast motion to color it in. So you can color at your speed and watch how we do it. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to do a... Uh, How are you feeling about it? I like it. Looks great. Yours is really deep red. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Well, we're going to keep it down because they can see them in the camera out there. So thanks for joining us for our uh, fire engine. And remember, what's the, the most important part about drawing? Having fun. Having fun. And practicing. And practicing, yes. Okay. So, see you later. Say bye. Bye. bye.